Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Eagle's Eye. Welcome. That was a very short uh, welcoming, like why why so short? Because I'm busy. You're busy texting, right? Yeah. Well, you can't have your phone like this. You can't have it. See, it is 8.47. You know what time that is? What time? School time. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so you need to take that thing away because you can't have that no more. <laughs> she's got interesting text messages so uh <laughs> so i'm gonna take your phone away because you can't have it during school but i'm not that threatening of a source to tell you that you can't have your phones out so why don't you go hear from mr michaels who will lay down the law Put it in the ground. lay down the law man Be like, you can't have your phone you can't have your phone no more so put it away put your phone away or i'm gonna take it well, I won't take it. Discipline will. Mm-hmm. And then you won't have it for the rest of the day. And then, like, if you get your phone taken away, you're going to cry about it. Like, Wah! like Then your parents got to come pick it up. And then you're in trouble. Yup. And then your mommy not going to like it. And then your daddy not going to like it. It's just going to be bad. So why don't you just put it away now? And we'll just solve all of our problems. Yeah. So put it away and check out this interview from this Mr. Michaels to also tell you to put it away. Check it out. Hi, I'm John Maxey here talking with Mr. Michaels about the new cell phone policy for this year. Mr. Michaels, how are you today? Hi, John. Great, thank you. All right. So what exactly is this new policy this year? The new policy this year is uh, students are not permitted to have their cell phones or any electronic devices during the school day. Uh, that includes classrooms, obviously, hallways, and also the cafeteria. Okay. So I know from... Years past, I know through my freshman and sophomore year, we were allowed to have it out in the lunchroom. There was the technology zone. So why this new policy? Why are we not allowed to have it out at any time? Well, we're, we're constantly uh, reviewing all, all of the policies. Uh, the administrative staff, uh, starting with the superintendent, Dr. Samuels, uh, along with the administrative team, reviews all policies um, every year. And that was one which, uh, at the end of last year, uh, Dr. Sam Samuels really felt uh, was uh, getting in the way or possibly causing a distraction uh, throughout the student day uh, and that students would be best served uh, without having um, the burden, let's say, of, of electronics during the school day. Okay. So... Um what are the consequences this year? You know, there's different steps involved. I know you get it taken the first time, the second time. So you want to get into that a little? Sure. The, the consequences are, are actually the same as they were last year. So the first offense, uh, the cell phone or electronic device is confiscated. Uh, we lock it up in the discipline center with the yeah. student's name and information, and the student receives it back at the end of the school day. The second and third offense, we again confiscate uh, the electronic device and we ask a, a parent or a guardian to then come in uh, to retrieve the device. Beyond that, we start getting into exclusions from school, okay. which essentially means that we need to meet with a parent. Uh, we have to have a sit down in a meeting. Uh, the student can't return back to school until we do that, just so that everyone's on the same page and, and we understand that you know it, it's something that we're, we're adamant about and that the students can't have those during the school day. So the point, if it does escalate enough, that will lead to suspension and it, possibly it is, will. Is there any punishment after that? You know, um, um, be, beyond beyond that, no. Um, and to be honest, it rarely gets to that level. Um, we have tremendous students here at Norristown Area High School. Um, I know that this is something that has been very difficult uh, for students, but I can also say that I think students, <coughs> bless you, students. Um, have responded very well. Uh, I'm, I'm in the cafeteria all three lunches this year, so uh, the, the headphones, the earphones have all been, been put away uh, respectfully. Uh, the cell phones, um, I've not seen many of them. Um, still some students, I think, you know, pull them out to check time and things like that, but for the most part, I think our students are responding very well uh, to the new policy. Do you think this is, you know, creating a better school environment? Students are paying attention more in class, you know, maybe even just learning more. They're not distracted. Well, unfortunately, I haven't been able to, to get into the classrooms um, yet. So I think teachers would be 
you know, more inclined to, to speak to that. Um, but, but I do think it's, it's a situation where uh, maybe students are talking more in the cafeteria, mm -hmm. communicating to each other, maybe making uh, some friends or developing relationships that they, they normally might not have developed if they were just, you know, kind of focusing on their cell phone or on their electronic device. So are you still allowed to have your cell phone in your pocket during the day, or are you not even allowed to bring it to the school at all? Yeah, the, the rule is that it's concealed. Okay. Um, so you can have it on you. It just cannot be visible throughout the school day. Does it need to be turned off, or it just can't be? Absolutely. It does need to be off. Um, you know, if it goes, goes off in class, that's a distraction. And Okay, and so it can be taken even if it's in your pocket and it goes off. That's correct. Okay. So do you think the policy this year will change at all? Well, um, that's a good question, a uh, fair question. Like I said, at, at the end of every year, we always review the policies. Dr. Samuels, I'm sure, will review the policy um, and make that determination with, with her administrative team. Okay, so maybe next year we could have the technology soon, possibly. It's, al <laughs> it's always reviewed, yes, it's always reviewed. Um, how have students been complying with this? You know, have you compared to last year, have you been taking more phones, do you think? Um, I, I would say no. You know, it's been about the same. Uh, so again, like I said, in the cafeteria, I know students are doing a great job um, in speaking with some of the teachers in the hallways. Students are, are really doing an excellent job stepping up, even though necess not necessarily they agree with the policy, mm -hmm. but they still are uh, being respectful and mindful of the policy and doing their best to adhere to the rules. Yeah, we're here for an education, right? That's right. <laughs> Would you like to add anything else? No, that's it. Just, um, again, you know, we, we really appreciate the students' help and cooperation with the new policies. Uh, we understand that it's, that it's very difficult. Um, you know, society today, we're all attached to our electronic devices, and that's teachers included. You know, so, so we're asking that everyone, you know, adhere to the policies, and, and we as teachers should lead by example with that. Um, and continue to support our students to, to be successful in, in you know, listening to rules and following rules so that ultimately they can, they can be successful in yeah, school. Yeah, de definitely. So um, if you just go back on the, you know, when your phone's taken by security, you said it's brought to discipline. Is it locked up in discipline or is, is it secure in there? It is. It's, it's, it's secure. Um, we have, uh, there's two keys. Ms. Connolly has one <laughs> and, and I have the other. And, um, you know, we lock it. Okay, so there's Very no safe. chance. Very safe. No chance. Knox, uh, security. <laughs> yeah, no chance. No All chance. Right. <laughs> and, and one thing I will say um, in addition is we have had a decline in cell phone thefts. Now, we haven't been okay. perfect with it, but uh, compared to last year, we had a lot of students losing cell phones, having cell phones misplaced, possibly stolen. And so far this year, uh, we've, we've seen that number decrease. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, if it's not out, people aren't gonna know you have it then. Correct. So this is a great policy, not, you know, you're learning more in class and thefts are going down. Yes. All right. Thank you. Right. I'm John Maxey here talking with Mr. Michaels about the new cell phone policy. Remember, keep your phone away. Now back to the eagle's eye.